Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been teaching college level students for several years now, and one of the reasons I love working with students is they want to use their degree for good. They want to use their food science degree to have a positive impact in the world. And so today I want to talk about a newer discipline of food science, which is called food science for relief and development. it's probably best to start with the basics like what is food science for relief and development. So this is an emerging area of food science that's looking to tackle some pretty big issues, things like global food security, malnutrition, and health for development or humanitarian purposes. Now, when I said big problem, that was a bit of an understatement because according to the World Food Program, there's 821 million people who are undernourished and another 135 million people are at a crisis level for food and nutrition security. And let's not forget about COVID, which is making the whole situation even worse. Of course, there are food aid organizations out there. We have the World Food Program and the Food and Agriculture Organization, among many others. But these organizations have traditionally focused on things like nutritional sciences and the agricultural sciences. So this is exactly where food science for relief and development could step in. Because if you think about it, food scientists are typically experts in things like food safety, quality, processing, engineering, and product development, which are all really critical to ensuring a global food supply. And to show you just how food science could connect nutrition and agriculture to bring about more global food security, let me give you a quick scenario. Let's imagine a situation where a certain region, maybe they don't have enough food, they're food insecure. So traditionally, what might happen is maybe they invite in an agriculture expert. And how this person would probably approach the problem is looking at things like crop yield, could they change the type or breed of crop that's grown, or does the soil need some type of nutrient to grow the crop better? And that's maybe how an agriculture person would look at the problem. Say instead we invite in a nutritionist to look at the same problem. Someone with a nutrition background might say, well, hey, the, what you're growing that crop, it's simply just not enough to meet your nutrient requirements. Maybe we can look into diversifying the number of crops you grow so that you can better meet the nutrient needs of your body. Now, how a food scientist would approach, approach this problem is actually different from both the person with an agricultural background or a nutrition background. How, what a food scientist would say is, all right, you have this certain amount of crop you have harvested. How can we make sure that lasts longer? How, does it, how do we prevent it from spoiling or becoming contaminated? Maybe we could process it into a different type of product or change it slightly. Maybe we could add certain ingredients to help preserve it. Is there any way we could fortify the food? So could we add certain vitamins or minerals to increase the nutrition of the food product? So actually adding a food scientist to these scenarios, it allows you know someone else to come in and look at the problem quite differently. What I find most exciting about this new discipline is that food scientists will be asked to tackle a whole new set of challenges, especially if you're like me and you are educated and work in a highly developed country. Because now your job becomes, how do I help people attain safe, nutritious food? And it's going to require a lot more than just your basic food science knowledge. Now you're going to have to consider different factors like what is culturally appropriate in a certain region or what local resources does an area have. If Food Science for Relief and Development sounds like a program you would be interested in, I'm going to put a link in the description. So we just got a new webpage up. 
It, right now we're running this program through the Institute of Food Technologists, that's IFT, and this is a huge food science organization in the US and globally. So we're always looking for more volunteers, so check that link out. Right now you do have to be an IFT member to volunteer. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below and I will get back to you. But otherwise, I will talk to you next time. Bye.